Hi everyone, welcome to week six when we're starting our foray into the actual statistical testing that we'll undertake for the majority of the rest of the semester. So today we're talking about t-test part one and we're going to be covering two of the three different t-tests that we'll be talking about this semester. So today we'll start off with by talking just an overview of different kinds of t-tests, of the three different kinds of t-tests, and then we'll start talking about the one sample t-test and then the independent samples t-test. And for both of these tests, we'll, st we'll start off talking about just describing the data, doing some univariate descriptive statistics, which remember is just describing a single variable at a time. We'll then start talking about the assumptions for each of the tests and how we can check if the assumptions are met or not, and then undergo the hypothesis testing process itself and finish with drawing a wider conclusion. So this lecture very much builds on the previous week's lectures, in particular last week when we talked about the fundamental concepts of hypothesis testing. And as I said to you last week, if all of that made a little bit was a little bit too conceptual or a little bit um, not practical or not kind of understandable enough, then hopefully as we go throughout the actual statistical tests, it will make more sense to you when we actually have the practical applications of the concepts that we talked about last week. Okay, so different kinds of t-tests essentially just to undertake um, different kinds of research questions or address different kinds of research questions. And we can say that for any statistical test itself, that different research questions result in different kinds of tests that we need to undertake them. In terms of t-tests themselves, as I said, there's three different kinds of t-tests we'll be talking about. And really what t-tests are all about are inspecting our understanding or summarizing data on a particular numeric variable, a numeric quantitative variable, and in particular looking at the average score or the mean score on that particular variable. So we're understanding the mean score and understanding the variation around the mean in order to compare the mean to something else. So the first kind of t-test, the one sample t-test, is looking to see if that average score, that mean score, is different to some other population average. So if the mean score in the population from which our sample was drawn is significantly different to some other population, the mean score in a different population. The second kind of t-test, the independent samples t-test, is undertaking an exploration of whether the, there's a difference in the average score, the mean score between two independent groups, two separate groups. And then the third kind of t-test, which is we'll be talking about next week, is looking to see if there's a difference in the average score, the mean score, between two related groups. And those related groups could be the same people measured under two different occasions, or it could just be non-independent people, related people, like husbands and wives or like twins or, some, or match um, groups or something like that. So that's the three different kinds of t-tests. And we'll start off with, by talking about the one sample t-test at the start.